What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to talk about properties of the dot product. We have three properties here, commutative property, which means that when we find the dot product of u and v, that's going to be equal to the dot product of v and u. So whenever you have u dot v, that would be equal to v dot u. Next one is going to be associative property, which means that when we have k as the real number, scalar times u which is a vector dot v it means that the dot product of k u and v that would be equal to the dot product of u and k v and that would be equal to k times the dot product of u and v next one we have distributive property which means that the dot product of vector u and v plus w equals to the dot product of u and v and plus the dot product of u and w. Now let's look at these examples. Use the properties of the dot product to expand and simplify each of the following where k and l belong to real numbers. So u dot k u plus v that's going to be u dot k u plus the dot product of u and v and here we have k u dot u plus u dot v and here i can say u dot u is going to be the magnitude of u squared and here we have the dot product of u and v next one we have k u minus v dot l v so it's going to be k u dot l v minus v dot l v and that would be k and l are scalar take it out times the dot product of u and v minus l times l is the scalar v dot v is going to be magnitude of v to the power of 2 next u minus v dot u minus v both of them are the same thing so it's going to be the magnitude of u minus v to the power of 2 why because these are two vectors and since they are the same thing the angle between them is zero next one is u plus v dot w plus x so we have u dot w plus x plus v dot w plus x and then i can expand it further it's going to be the dot product of u and w plus dot product of u and x plus the dot product of v and w plus the dot product of v and x that's going to be the expansion of this question Next one, it says u is 3 and negative 5 and v is negative 6 and 1, w is 4 and 7. Evaluate each of the following if possible. If it's not possible, explain why not. Let's start with the first one. For the first one, first of all, I need to find out v plus w. It's going to be negative 6 and 4 is going to be negative 2. 1 and 7 is going to be 8. So u is 3 and negative 5 dot negative 2 and 8 that will be 3 times negative 2 plus negative 8, 5 times 8 so we have negative 6 minus 40 that would be negative 46 next one u dot v plus v dot u first of all I need to find u dot v it's gonna be 3 times negative 6 plus negative 1 5 times 1. That's going to be negative 18 and negative 5 is going to be negative 23. And here we have v dot w. It's going to be negative 6 times 4 plus 1 times 7. It's going to be negative 24 plus 7. It's going to be negative 17. When you add these two, negative 23 and negative 17, it's going to be negative 40 next one u plus v dot u minus v so u plus v that equals to 
3 plus negative 6, which is negative 3. Negative 5 and 1 is going to be negative 4. And then we have u minus v, which is going to be 3 minus negative 6. That's going to be 9. Negative 5 minus 1 is going to be negative 6. So when now we have two vectors. We need to find out the dot product. It's going to be negative 3 times 9 plus negative 4 times negative 6. Negative 27 plus 24. That would be negative 3. Next one, you have u plus the dot product of v and w. The dot product of v and w is going to be a scalar. So we cannot add a scalar and vector. So it can say is not possible. Next one is going to be the dot product of negative 3v and 2w. Negative 3v equals to negative 3 times negative 6 is 18. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. 2w is 2 times 4, 8. 2 times 7 is 14. The dot product is going to be 8 times 18 plus negative 3 times 14. That's going to be 102. Next one, we have 5u. 5 times 3, 15. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. 2v minus w is going to be negative 12 minus 4 is going to be negative 16. 2 times 1 is 2 minus 7 is going to be negative 5. So we have the dot product of these two, 15 times negative 16 plus negative 25 times negative 5. So it's going to be negative 240 plus 125. It's going to give us negative 115. Next one. Here we have u dot v dot w. If we consider this part, v dot w, you know, the answer of the dot product is scalar. And we need to multiply by a scalar by the vector. But if we consider these two, the dot product of these two, we're going to get the scalar and multiply by it. This one doesn't give us the same answer. So that doesn't belong to any kind of property. So we're going to say that's not possible. Next example. We have u plus 2v, u is 3 plus 2v is going to be 3 minus 12, which is negative 9. And here we have negative 5 plus 2, which is negative 3. And it's going to be 3w minus u, that's going to be 3 times 4, 12 minus 3 is going to be 9 and here we have 3 times 7 21 minus negative 5 this is going to be positive 5 so that will be 26 so the dots product is going to be 9 times negative 9 plus 26 times negative 3 so that's going to be negative 81 minus 78 Minus 159. That's going to be the final answer. Next one is going to be the dot product of u and u, which is going to be 3 times 3 plus negative 5 times negative 5. It's going to be 9 plus 25. That would be 34. Next one, v dot v. That's going to be negative 6 times negative 6 plus 1 times 1. It's going to be 36 plus 1 equals to 37. And then we have w dot w. It's going to be 4 times 4 plus 7 times 7. It's going to be 16 plus 49. That would be 65. Here in this example, it says use the property of that product to simplify each of the following expressions. 
So I'm going to have a plus 5b dot 2a minus 3b. So it's going to be a dot 2a minus 3b. So a times 2a is going to be 2 magnitude of a squared minus 3 a dot b is in bracket. Plus, we have 5b dot 2a minus 3b. So that will be 5 times 2, 10 dot product of ab. You know the dot product of ba is the same as the dot product of ab minus 3 times 5 is 15. Dot product of b and b is going to be magnitude of b to the power of 2. So that would be... 2 magnitude of a squared negative 3 and positive 10 it's going to be 7 dot product of a and b minus 15 magnitude of b squared next one it's going to be first part 3 magnitude of x to the power of 2 minus 9 that product of x and y. Next one is going to be negative x. That's negative 3x plus y. Then you have plus 3y dot negative 3x plus y. So we need to simplify this. It's going to be 3 negative x squared minus x dot y. And here we have negative 9xy plus 3 magnitude of y to the power of 2. So we have these three parts. So 3 and 3 is going to be 6 magnitude of x to the power of 2. That's going to be negative 9, negative 9, negative 18 minus 19x dot y plus 3 magnitude of y to the power of 2. Now in this example it says, if a and b are any two non-zero vectors, prove each of the following to be true. The dot product of a plus b and a plus b. So it's going to be a dot a plus b plus b dot a plus b. So we have a dot a plus a dot b plus b dot a plus b dot b that's how we distribute it a dot a is going to be magnitude of a to the power of 2 a dot b and b dot a are the same thing so i'm going to say 2 times a dot b plus b dot b is going to be the magnitude of b to the power of 2 that's going to be the final answer which is the same as this one so this is true next one vector a plus b the dot product of a plus b and a minus b is going to be magnitude of a square minus magnitude of b square so it's going to be a dot a minus b plus b dot a minus a so we have a dot a minus a dot b plus b dot a minus b dot b so we have a dot a is going to be magnitude of a squared these two cancel out because one of them positive and one of them negative minus b dot b is going to be magnitude of b to the power of 2 now in this example it says prove the identity u plus v the magnitude of u plus v to the power of 2 plus the magnitude of u minus v to the power of 2 equals to 2 times magnitude of u squared plus 2 times magnitude of v squared. So that would be here we have u plus v dot u plus v plus u minus v dot u minus v when you expand it it's going to be u dot u plus v plus v dot u plus v 
u dot u minus v minus v dot u minus v. So when you expand it, we have u dot u plus u dot v plus v dot u plus v dot v plus u dot u minus u dot v minus v dot u plus v dot v. Now we have these two and we have these two u dot v u dot v v dot u the same as u dot v so these this cancel out so we have u dot u is going to be magnitude of u square v dot v is going to be magnitude of v square u dot u again is going to be the magnitude of u square and here we have magnitude of v square so when you add them and simplify it's going to be 2 magnitude of u squared plus 2 magnitude of v squared. That's the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. Thank you for watching and have a great day.